In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the girth hitch. The girth hitch is a great hitch to attach a strap to different items. I'm going to show you the different items in this video and talk about the advantages and disadvantages of this hitch. So when you need to attach to a hook something like this and you have a strap like this, the girth hitch is very easy to tie. All you do, and there's a couple ways to different tie this, but I'm gonna show you the two most popular ways, is you're going to put your fingers through the hole. Put the fingers in the hole so it's happy like that. And then you're going to roll your fingers over. So you create these eyeballs, it's just like the lark's head. And with these, you're going to pinch your fingers together behind, and then roll the strap so it's like this and then all you do is hook both loops over here pull tight and dress it and there you go that's the first way to tie the girth hitch now this is very similar to lark set except that this is done on strap instead of rope and i'll show you the on rope style in just a moment but very very easy the next way to tie it is if you have a fixed ring or a loop or something you can't hook over, there's another way to do this. And I'll do this on my shorter strap, that way it's easier to see. All you do is you pass this bite through the ring or hook or whatever, something that you can't get through. And then you take this guy here. All right, see the opening there? And you pass this part through here and wait to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you the very important things about this hitch and where it's very useful and why it's important. And there you go. So very easy to attach and very easy to inspect and generally this thing doesn't fail. Now what if you're attaching to a fixed line? Let me show you that. Let's say you have a fixed rope that you need to attach something to, whether you're doing survival, prepping, camping, or climbing. You have this fixed line. It's very similar to the hook or the, the uh, ring method. Again, you simply pass, and it doesn't matter whether you go over or under, you simply pass the bite around, grab the very end of your loop here, Pass it through your bite, just like this. So it comes through, begin pulling, 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 and very quickly you will have attached a hitch to this line that you can easily adjust and reposition. Now, on this thickness of line, you can see that it is not a fixed position item. So if you need to slide it, it's great. But if you need a fixed position item, you're going to need to tie an alpine butterfly hitch, which is in my most crucial knots to know here. But boy, this girth hitch is super, super useful. The girth hitch, whether it's used on a fixed ring or a carabiner or a hook, is super useful for straps with a continuous loop in it. It's featured in my book, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, on page 44 where you can see the final knot, the discussion for visual learners and the or pictures for the visual learners and discussion for the language learners. And then also the most important part, the section talking about when and where to use this and the advantages. So the girth hitch is super useful when you need to attach a fixed strap like this to a ring. There is arguably no better hitch or knot to do this. There is no arguable way, again, I say arguable because people will argue all the time online, blah, 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 type, 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 or thumb type, that, oh, there's something better. There is nothing better than the girth hitch. Yes, you do lose some strength in the loop around, but boy, there is nothing simpler, easier to inspect, and easy to remove from a ring. Same thing with a hook. This is super, super easy to tie and put on. However, big disadvantage on a hook, the girth hitch, if you start swinging, can easily slide off and come off. So some advantages and disadvantages. This is way better than just looping this on a hook and praying that it doesn't come off. You want to tie the girth hitch 
attach it to that hook, and there will be some grabbing force so it doesn't slide around instead of just looping it on there. That is a key, key thing to the girth hitch. This is exactly the same structure as the cat's paw knot, but, or I mean the lark's head knot, not the cat's paw, the lark's head, that is just tied with rope instead of straps. Now, if you need something more serious on this hook, I would definitely recommend the cat's paw. We have a couple of extra spun loops in here. You spin this a couple times. And this is also in my book, The Most Crucial Knots. You know, you spin that around twice, you hook that on, and now it becomes a cat's paw. This is a much, much better, whoops, I didn't actually put an extra loop in there. There we go. Don't want to show you the wrong way to do it. There you go. That is the cat's pot. Again, easy to inspect and I could tell. So if you need something more serious, but it's a little bit more bindy. So the, uh, the girth hitch is super valuable. You want as much girth as you can possibly get in things, right? So that is a great way to go. This knot is featured in my book, the most crucial knots to know. And just a key thing, please check this out. Hold on a moment. My book is actually alphabetical, so it's very easy to find the knots. Rather than my competitor's books who seem to randomly list knots, I don't know what that's all about. But I really try and make this book easy for you to learn in your different learning methods, the names, and most importantly, where, when, and when not to use these knots. My name's Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links in the description below to my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost in Windy Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, The 50, uh, 50 Jackson Hole Photography Hotspots, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, and my 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, as well as my show, Antarctic Tears. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more info like this on the girth itch.